darkness that hides every heart in mine, with every sentient thing. And I have a secret I would like to tell you. Why I have been so successful. I have been successful because I don't pretend to be darkness. No, I pretend I am the light. I pretend I am the truth. And that is it for anybody to believe it. For they willingly deceive themselves. For they rather believe in a comfortable lie than in to accept the cold truth. It is for they don't care for the truth. It is what they have deceived themselves to comfortably believe. For that is when, my children, the darkness is at its fullest. There will be many who tell you that they have the truth. That they have the light. Investigate, and you will openly accept what they would say. They will still stab you in the back, for they will never accept anything you find that tells them that they are false, that they are liars, that they are deceiving themselves. They will say to you, conspiracies, lies, untruth. Once they commit to believe these ideals, to believe in these absurdities at all costs, they will commit atrocities. This is why they pass laws, to keep their precious ideals, even though they pretend they have the truth and the light. They will never have it, for they hold things like faith as a virtue. Tell me, my dear children, who does faith benefit? Does it benefit the snake oil salesman? Does it benefit the person who would sell you their own children? Does it benefit them somebody who would smile on your face and be your friend while they secretly despise you? Yes, faith benefits them. But it does not benefit the truth teller, and it does not even benefit you. Maybe you believe in it as something that is true. But how would you know you're taking it on faith? So tell me, my dear children, is faith a virtue? If faith is a virtue, 